Hi. On the 26th of April 1986, reactor number 4 at Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. As a result, a large amount of radioactive isotopes was released into the environment, contaminating most of Eastern Europe. Today, 35 years later, most radioactive isotopes with short half-life have decayed, with only 6 isotopes remaining in significant amounts, from which cesium-137 and strontium-90 make the top of the list. Recently, one of my good friends was in Belarus, and during his trip, he collected some local mushrooms. Why do I bring this up? Because mushrooms, particularly bapolites, accumulate heavy metals. This means that if they grew in an area contaminated by radioactive fallout, then there should be a detectable amount of cesium-137 in them. When measured with Ludlum Model 3 Servimeter with a Johnson pancake probe, the reading was around 150 cpm, just over three times the normal background radiation. In order to make sure that the activity coming from those mushrooms is caused by Chernobyl fallout, I did a gamma spectroscopy using RACID gamma spectrometer. After a few minutes, an arrow peak started to form at 662 keV, which is very characteristic for cesium 137, which means that these mushrooms are contaminated by nuclear fallout from Chernobyl. Since I'm not an expert, I cannot tell you whether or not eating such mushrooms is safe, but if you ask me, I prefer non-radioactive ones. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And remember, stay active. Thank you.